the computational learning theory team in the computer science department at the University of Regina uh, studies the theory of machine learning. Machine learning itself is a fascinating discipline in computer science and it is concerned with how we can make machines learn or how we can make computers specifically learn. Learning here could mean, um, for instance, to find a pattern, rules, or some sort of structure in data. Or it could mean to learn to develop some kind of behavior, a desired behavior, completely from scratch without being explicitly programmed to display this behavior. Machine learning has got hundreds of applications in a variety of areas. For instance, e-commerce, marketing, in the health sector, in bioinformatics, everywhere. Example applications could be, you know, for instance, email spam detection or credit card fraud detection. Other example applications include uh, handwriting recognition or for instance, in bioinformatics, we study DNA sequences and try to classify them. Or in the health sector, uh, medical diagnosis based on, for instance, patient records or other kind of patient information, such as MRI images. And there are hundreds of other applications. Well, one problem in part, some of these applications, not all of them, is that they require a massive amount of data, and data is often not available or just available at a very high cost. And um, the current solutions to such problems often suffer from, from the fact that data is so expensive. Other um, problems in machine learning applications are that some of them, some, some of the, the applications typically have a property that they you have lots of data provided, so it comes with a lot of data, but the problem here is um, typical solutions often suffer from the fact that it can be very difficult to find the interesting information in, that is hidden in these data. So one question, and that is basically a, a question that most of the research projects in my group are focused around, and that is the question, how we can make uh, machine learning more data efficient by using particularly relevant data rather than just randomly chosen data. The idea behind that is very simple. If the data is particularly helpful, the data that's given to the computer, then it would be easier for the computer to learn from, with fewer data rather than just a, a large amount of randomly chosen data. We study this uh, question more on a theoretical level, so we build formal models of learning and analyze them and, and try to find out how can particularly helpful data make machine learning more efficient and in that sense also more economical, right, because data is so expensive very often. Now, it turns out that there are some interesting properties to study. One uh, result that we have illustrates somehow that it, we can be even more data efficient in machine learning if actually we exploit the fact that the machine could know that the data is relevant, particularly helpful data. Um, why does it make a difference whether the machine knows that or not? An example that I like to use for illustration is here is just how students learn in a classroom, right? The teacher usually gives the students good examples, not just some examples about a concept that the students are supposed to learn. Now the students somehow learn under the assumption that the examples chosen by the teacher are helpful and that actually affects the way they form hypotheses about the, the concept that they're supposed to learn and it actually makes them learn with fewer examples than, you know, as, as opposed to if they would assume the examples were just random, okay? So, and it turns out, at least a theory tells us so, that this kind of uh, phenomenon we could actually uh, see in machine learning too. So we could actually implement machines to exploit the knowledge that data is chosen in a helpful way. And that's actually quite an amazing result 
And what we would like to do in the future, you know, well, is to get this theoretical result a little bit more into applications. So our long-term goal is to make use of that observation that is right now just a theory observation. We would might, might like to make use of that in practice. And we're thinking that this might actually affect or really change the way that machine learning is deployed and it would help us find efficient solutions to very complex artificial intelligence problems at a lower cost and with much less data than is currently possible.